Terrifics, I'm Allison Dean. We are live here at CES 2018. We are in the South Hall right now. I am at the Display Link booth. I am with Andrew Davis. He is the director of marketing for Display Link. And they have some incredible new products that they are showing off today. Uh, Andrew, why don't you tell all our Terrifics out there a little bit about what you guys have going on here? So firstly, it's terrific to see you. Um, but it's great to be here with you guys today. So what we're showing here is multi-user wireless VR. So people have done VR, but you've got a tether and typically you're pulling over a PC or you know you can't really feel immersed when you've got something pulling on the back of you. Right. So we've cut those cords completely, not just for one user, but for multi-users. So behind me here, we've actually got a virtual arena with two players playing racquetball. This is actually Racket NX in space. So these two guys behind me that are playing are actually playing racquetball against one another. And what you can see on the screen above is how they're actually in the arena th themselves playing against one another live right now. They've got the ability to run, jump, duck, dive, get all over the place, not worry at all about any kind of a tether and just love that space. That's amazing. And so is this currently available? Did you guys launch this on the market? Is it? So we're super excited about this. Just yesterday lunchtime, we announced with Vive. So the new Vive wireless adapter is using DisplayLink's technology. That's going to be available shortly into the market, but it was just announced yesterday. Amazing. And then what is the price point for something like this? So we haven't heard directly from them. We're, we're the enabler behind it. Okay. Um, they're going to be making an announcement probably a couple of months later on pricing, but it's, I'm sure it's going to be very, very reasonable. And from what we've heard so far, everybody wants it like yesterday. It's pretty cool looking. Okay, and before we uh, show off some more stuff, uh, Michael and I, uh, just a half hour ago, we were talking about bobs. So let me ask you the question. Do you guys have a bob at DisplayLink? We don't have a bob right now, but we're looking to expand. So if there's a bob out there that can do all of this, we'll take it. Perfect. Okay, let's um, let's walk over here and let's check out some more of the goodies that you guys have. Is Absolutely. that cool? All right, let's go on over. This is a nice uh, giant image of something, so perhaps we should show this off. Exactly. So this is the one. This is what we talk about when we look at one size fits all. So DisplayLink does connectivity solutions, and a lot of IT now are facing challenges where, when they want to deploy something, do they deploy Thunderbolt? Do they deploy Alt mode? Do they deploy USB? It's a confusing marketplace. We take all that confusion away. So any type of connector, we have a solution that enables you to deploy that on desking, and it'll just work. Amazing. But beyond that it'll work and it'll actually scale to huge levels. So let's go inside and I'll show you what huge levels means. So here on this back wall, you'll see we've got eight displays. These eight displays are all 4K. And we're driving all of those eight 4Ks over one, not a coffee cup, <laughs> but over one simple USB cable. So that's actually charging the notebook. And what you can see, these devices are standard docking stations. We're using a Dell dock here. Any of the solutions that work with us can do this. Dell, Lenovo, HP, Targus. And they can just daisy chain behind one another. So if two 4K isn't enough, you can go to four, go to six, go to eight. And in reality, eight 4K means two times 8K pixels. So that's what we're doing over USB. That's pretty cool. And I do like your tagline, the plug and display thing. It's like, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can plug it in and here it'll appear. There you go. And the other tagline is, it just works. I like that too. I like when things just work. That is very important. Okay, and so this product, this stuff is available now. It's available in market today. These docks retail for about 150 bucks. So it's very, very reasonable. And you can just expand as you need to go. So if you've got a notebook today with USB, which means everybody, because everybody has USB, yeah. you can just get one of these, plug it in, and you can do this right away. Super, super cool. Okay, so what are you most, like what other things are you excited to see here at CES? So I think for us, you know, the, the CS environment for us is always a fantastic place to be. We're, 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 you know, we're totally stoked to be in the VR market. We're kind of leading that right now from a wireless perspective, but that's only going to grow. The multi-user part of that to us is, you know, if you can imagine it, that's kind of where that market's going to go. Where is DisplayLink based? Where are you guys located? So we're headquartered out of US, okay. uh, but we have offices all around the world. Cool. So um, our, our primary engineering is out of Europe, in the UK, and in Poland. Um, my accent's a little screwed up, but um, I've been around a lot of countries, but I was originally from UK, but now I live in Taiwan. Oh, wow. Okay, and then because I think this is be terrific, what things does DisplayLink do on a daily basis to be terrific? 
So for us, it's always about pushing the boundary. Okay. So, you know, if we challenge ourselves on a daily basis, we love it when the customers, you know, want to try and do more and more and more like we're doing here behind us, right? Right. So the thing for us is we always just want to push the boundary, be as terrific as we possibly can, so which is why it's great to have you guys here. Love it. Well, I really, I thank you so much for showing us some of this amazing stuff. Uh, I think one of our guys is probably going to want to try it off camera. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> but I thank you so much for your time, and I wish you a great show. Thanks very much. Great yeah. Time. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much. And I guess I'll ping it back to Michael up at the booth.